2.2 edition on a number line. The objective Boop. to add real numbers using the number line and properties of opposites. Now, thinking back, you might be wondering what are opposites. So, just so, you know, for those of you who don't quite remember, the opposites are, you know, the number on the opposite side of the number line. For instance, the opposite of 10 would be negative 10, which is also sometimes said, you call this the opposite of 10. This guy over here is the opposite of negative 10. Sometimes we use the negative sign, means opposite. So, um, in the last lecture we said that you can say the opposite of 10 is negative 10, and the opposite of negative 10 would be 10. So we're going to talk about some properties and see how we can use those to add numbers using the number line. Remember, the number line contains integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, all the way, and all the little tiny decimals and all the rational and irrational numbers. So every, there's like infinite amount of points in between, you know, any two points, interestingly, um, enough on a number line. Now, Let's talk about some of the properties here. We have the identity property of addition, which this is something that you, most of you know, that any number plus zero is, is still equal to that original number. For instance, 3.4 plus zero is equal to, well, 3.4, and zero plus 3.4 is equal to 3.4. It's called the identity property of addition. And there's also some properties of opposites we'll be using. Uh, the property of opposite says any number added to its opposite is equal to zero. Or, an opposite of a number added to the number equals zero. Where might we see this? Well, if you see, for instance, four plus its opposite, negative four, will equal zero. And if you're confused about this right now, we'll talk about this adding and subtracting, or we'll talk about positive and negative numbers, adding them on a number line um, by moving left and right or up and down on that number line. And just the same, negative 4 added to positive 4. Notice, if you see a number without a sign, it's assumed it's positive. Um, plus a positive 4 is also equal to 0. Now, remember, negative numbers, when you see them, they can be read a couple of different ways. For instance, negative 5. This right here, this can be read as negative 5. You could also call this the opposite of 5 or the additive inverse of 5. All of them would suffice in um, naming, saying what the name of this number is right here. Just when you thought we were done, we have the property of the opposite of a sum. Now, notice this. The opposite of two numbers added together is the same as adding the opposites of the individual numbers together. For instance, the opposite of 6 plus 3 is the same thing as adding the opposite of 6 to the opposite of 3. So this negative outside, this, this is just saying the opposite of this stuff. Take the opposite of both these guys, then add them together. Now, notice if we went through this, you'd say 6 and 3 is 9. The opposite of 9 is negative 9. And just like the opposite of 6 added to the opposite of 3 would also give you the opposite of 9 or negative 9. Negative 9! So let's look at the number line and see what I'm talking about. Well, here's a number line. Notice I didn't put zero in the center. I kind of slid it over to show a little bit of addition. We can think of as adding positive integers as moves to the right. So when we add positive integers, we move to the right that amount. So we'll start at zero will be our starting point. This is where we're going to start. And this is saying two moves to the right. One, two. There's my plus two. And also three more moves to the right. One, two, three. I move positive three. So, altogether, what did I move? I moved positive five, which is where I ended up. 
2 plus 3 is 5. We know this. And we're looking, this is on a right-to-left number line. Well, here's a, a left-to-right, I mean, an up-and-down number line. I like to use this sometimes. You know, it's another way to think about, you know, the number line. Or should continue this on forever and ever. Um, for instance, adding 3 and 5. Well, it's a positive 3. So, on a number line this way, positive numbers would be up. These are all positives. So, here I'm going to make three, three moves up. So, 1, 2, 3, and 1 up. And 5 more. Uh-oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to end up here. Whoops, should put that guy in there. 8. Should have thought about that before. Oh, anyway. Too late for that now. Okay, so notice we're just moving forward. Now, here comes our property of opposites, and here's an example of why a number plus its opposite gets you back to zero. Um, taking a look at this guy right here, um, you'll see I'm trying to add 5 to its opposite. Look what happens when I add 5 to its opposite. All right, I'm always starting at zero, and it's saying I'm, I'm going to move 5 positive to the right. Positives are here, negatives here, okay? So move 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and look where I end up, I'm at 5. And I want to move then 5 to the left. So I move 5 to the right plus 5, well I'm standing right here now, see? Alright, now my next move is 5 to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and where do I end up? Back here at 0. I move 5 to the right, 5 to the left. And this demonstrate this can be demonstrated the positives and adding negatives can also be demonstrated on a ver uh, vertical number line. Um, sometimes I like to think of it this way. Sometimes I think of like this as sea level, whoop, 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 right? And this is underwater and this is over water. You know, what, uh, you know, people think about it different ways. This is saying two positive moves. So let's go start at zero. I'm going to go up two from zero. Here I am. I moved up two. This is my plus two. And I'm going to add to that a, a move of down 6. This is going to be a negative 6. So let's see. I'm going to move down 1, 2, well, 3, 4, 5, 6 moves. And I end up down 6. I drop down 6 and I end up at negative 4. And finally, the last example. Whoops, the, the last example here. It's going to be this wild and wacky and crazy problem here that you can check out. I'm adding all kinds of crazy things. All right? I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to move four positive. So here we go. You ready? Is everybody ready out there in YouTube land? Start at zero. Starting here. There I am. I'm going to go four positives. Here we go. Up four to the right. Remember, positive is to the right. One, two, three, four. It's my first move, plus four. Six negatives. Oh, jeepers. All right. Down four. Brings me back to zero. Five, six. Okay, now I'm here. It's my negative six. Then it's saying, and I'm going to add another move of negative three. One, two, three. Now look where I am. I'm at negative five. I move down three more. All right. All right. Oh, now I'm moving up five from here. Oh, jeepers. So... From negative 5, I'm going to move up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Back where I started, when I end, when I see right here, I'm plus 5, I'm back where I started again. There's plus 5. Oh, nope, not quite. i got to keep moving. And then finally, I have to move I've down 3. And I end up at negative 3. Now notice the moves again. 4, I moved up 4. Negative 6, I dropped down 6 to here. Negative 3, I dropped down 3 more. Up 5, I moved up 5. Back 3, back 3, and in my final place I end up, where do I end up? End up at negative 3. Well, that's the end of the lecture. Have a very nice day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adios.